Hey guys, what's up? It's Jimmy, and today we're going to be taking a look at a game that I really love. The series turned 20 today, and I thought what better way to honor it by reviewing my favorite game from that series. Today we're going to dive into Mario Kart Double Dash for the Nintendo GameCube. Mario Kart Double Dash has everything you've probably come to expect from a Mario game up until that point. It has the fun single player Grand Prix, battle mode, time trials to practice the courses and show off your skills, and of course, the hectic and out of control multiplayer we all know and love. There are 4 cups and 4 courses in each, that's 16 different racetracks to have a whole lot of fun on. They're all really awesome and at least to me, really memorable. Some of them were even brought back in future Mario Kart titles. Nintendo did a great job making each course interesting and a blast to race on. Not only that, but the graphics for each of the courses are really well done. The colors really pop and the whole world feels very Nintendo. The course's design and graphics aren't the only thing that makes this game awesome, it's the music. Each song in the game fits the level very well and sounds great. Mario Kart has always been known for its wacky and outrageous multiplayer and unfortunately I was home alone by myself when recording the footage for this review, so when I needed to record footage of the two player gameplay I decided to get my dog to help me out. I guess you don't want to play then. You could have just said no. Set up the controller and everything. But she didn't seem to want to play, so I used my foot to record the second player instead. I wish I had friends! Mario Kart Double Dash is everything old Mario Kart games have and more. One of my favorite additions is the ability to use two racers in one car. This means you can hold up to two items at once. That's why there's double item boxes scattered about the levels. It was a nice twist that unfortunately wasn't brought back in future entries. One of the other parts about Mario Kart I enjoy is seeing what characters are in the game. There's the usual players like Mario, Luigi, Peach, and then some new characters that make their debut in this game, such as Baby Mario and Diddy Kong. And you can even unlock Petey Piranha and King Boo. But I suck at this game, and I didn't unlock them! Yay! One thing that some players will complain about is the handling, and I'll agree with them. It's a bit awkward. The characters feel very floaty when they drive, almost if the whole game is being played on ice. You get used to it after a while, but going back to this game after playing hours of Mario Kart 7 feels pretty weird. With tons of fun tracks to play on and a whole lot of fun for you and your family and friends to have, or in my case, toes, I definitely recommend Mario Kart Double Dash to anyone who can track down a copy. While it is definitely not the best Mario Kart game, it definitely is my favorite. I'm debating whether I should stop using numerical scores in my reviews. I haven't decided yet, so this will probably be the last time I use one of my reviews. I give Mario Kart Double Dash an 8 out of 10. It really is a fun game, but the handling may throw you off, and if you're picky about that stuff, you might not like the game. Feel free to disagree with my opinion. If you respect my opinion, I'll respect yours. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit that subscribe button on top of this video. Also, recently I reviewed Pokemon Gold and Silver, so you can click here to be taken right to that video. I have a Facebook and Twitter that you could follow me on, so you'll know when I'm working on new videos, playing new video games, or when I'm live streaming on Twitch TV. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I'll see you all next time with more videos.